back like we never left. What is good, everybody? If you are new to the channel, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Weave, and here on my channel, we coach you through three critical facets of your life. First, on your personal growth and development. Second, we continue to push you forward as you move forward in your careers in business and entrepreneurship. Third, we always help you to build, maintain, and nurture long, lasting, and more meaningful relationships. Today's video was a commenter's request a few weeks ago to tackle the topic of moving on to a new relationship after dating or being married to a narcissist. And you know how I am. I don't like to waste time and I'm ready to get into it. So let's do that right now. Narcissists don't have a soul, which is why they try to kill yours. All of the personality and genuine love you may have had for getting into that relationship, they try to steal from you as much of it as humanly possible. And in all honesty, it's an accomplishment within itself because the easiest thing and the hardest thing are sometimes the same, right? When you leave a toxic or unhealthy relationship, the other side of it can be quite confusing because it sort of feels like the matrix. You start questioning your reality while while you're in that relationship so much that once you're done, it's hard for you to readjust back to normal life. The amazing thing is that the efforts that were taken to manipulate you, to convince you that you're the problem, the types of mood swings you dealt with, the emotional toll it takes on your soul is both infuriating and also unbelievable at the same time. So to try to readjust, to date someone new, to accept a new love into your life without having the residual feeling that they just might do the same thing to you is natural for you to feel. Because once you go through hell and actually make it out, ain't no way in hell that you wanna go back, right? But you also realize that at the same point, you will need to move on to a new love in your life. So how can you process it, accept it, and how will it affect the person that you love next? But the real deal about life in general as it relates to our relationships is when you've been through some heavy shit before, there's no way that you come out that way the same. You view the world differently now. It makes you a little rougher around the edges. It makes you a lot more careful with both your trust and your love, but it also makes you stronger in most cases. But there's this carryover. Wait, what carryover though? Carryover of your skepticism, of your hesitancy, and in most instances of letting somebody in too damn close to you. So whether you're in a relationship with someone like this, or maybe you're like this, understand that this is a long ass process. So if you're not invested in them as an individual, as a love interest, as a partner, keep it moving because it will save both of you the time and feelings in the end. But if you are in it for the right reasons, it may take a lot of time for them to trust and open up the way you think they should be, to feel like you are coming to a place of genuine interest of love and respect between the two of you. Now why? because they are disrespected and treated like they were less than for so damn long, now it's difficult for them to accept themselves fully, let alone you. Oh wait, you didn't think this was a thing you did, right? You thought this was all your fault, your problem, your burden to carry? Nah, this is their load to carry. And don't get me wrong, you can support them, love them, care for them deeply, but they must grow through their own pain. And the hope is that along that journey, they see that through your actions, that you care. But here's what I want you to understand. It is not your job to fix damaged or broken people. You can support, you can cheer them on, you can share your love with them, but do yourself and them a favor. Don't overdo it. You being there, you not judging them, you accepting them for who they truly are, flaws and all, that's a start. And on the other side is their willingness to open up to you and feel comfortable sharing things with you that they feel extremely uncomfortable about. But you aren't a babysitter and they aren't a child. The love you share with someone should always feel equal. So if they are showing you through actions just as you are that they love and care about you, then accept that at face value. But also understand that there may be some down moments, moments when they need space, moments they don't communicate with you as well, moments they aren't quite as open and honest because well, that's life in general, right? But that's not an indictment on you. The one thing you shouldn't do is take things personally. And that's whether it's with your partner or anyone else in your life. You never know what someone else is going through behind the cloak of armor that they wear every single day, right? So you can't possibly know how they're going to react to things you might think of as not a big deal. Here's the key though. When someone moves on to a relationship after dating or being with a narcissist, they must heal before they jump into a new relationship. And I'm not saying they'll immediately be all the better for it just because they took some time 
learn to grow personally in between relationships or marriages. But I am saying that that hesitancy I spoke about before isn't fully gotten over by the time that they do. They still carry some of that weight, some of that what if, and let's keep it 100, emotional baggage. And it may reveal itself over time, right? Of them being closed off. But remember one thing, both you and them signed up for this. So you both need to be invested in growing from it. And one last thing, patience in relationships is one of the key factors to it growing effectively. But you need to make sure you have a partner who, if they have been damaged in prior relationships with narcissists, that they are communicating that with you and how they feel. Because you're not a mind reader. You're not a doctor. You're not a psychiatrist. You're not their mother or a detective. You should know how they feel because they tell you how they feel. Good or bad, they nor you should be hiding from these problems. Address them, move on from them, and then grow from them together. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. If no one has told you this already today, come on now, I appreciate you. If you found some value in this video today, make sure you like, comment, and share it as well. And if you're new to the channel, you know what you gotta do. Hit that subscribe button and bell notification and become an official part of a team that will always push you towards personal and professional greatness. I'll be back soon with another new video, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay in Inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.